What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. I got another one today from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, which, as most of you know, I'm not a huge fan of, but I do love the characters, and uh, I do kind of just want to, you know, go ahead and do my reviews anyway, even though I'm sure everybody's seen a million reviews of it and have probably seen the movies a million times as well. Uh, so today I'm here to talk about The Incredible Hulk. This was the second movie in Phase 1, and to me it's a movie that never really felt like it was part of the rest of the series. Uh, that could be because uh, Edward Norton didn't return as the Hulk, but at the same time, it just has a weird feel to it that I always thought kind of made it feel like a jank movie <laughs> and it really didn't feel like it was part of the rest of the series. Uh, the story doesn't actually take us back to an origin story. It picks up with Bruce Banner um, in exile. He's trying to hide from the world, essentially, learning how to control the, his emotions and his temper and, you know, keep his heartbeat down, you know, just meditate, get into a zen-like state. And the movie follows uh, that path, as well as the fact that because he does have such immense power inside him, that different organizations, especially ones with uh, military or uh, you know terrorist connotations, would love to be able to harness that power uh, for themselves, with or without Banner's consent. And that's kind of the path that the movie follows. My issue with this movie is that I like the idea of them going kind of a deep dive into Banner's mind and you know the turmoil of having this inside of him but the movie doesn't do anything with that it has these long boring stretches of exposition that don't go anywhere like in the original Iron Man you had the section in the cave that wasn't exactly kinetic and upbeat but at the same time it built towards something so it it never felt like it was boring in this case you just have this this boring exposition that's then intercut with over-the-top action scenes that look like video game cutscenes. that CGI is so terrible in them so you have kind of pointless action scenes and these like lot and then you have like the dramatic scenes that have potential but nothing yet you know they never lead anywhere they never go anywhere and on top of that the movie is so drawn out it's so bloated and it's so long um, it's just a complete chore for me to sit through I would rank it as, if not one of, if not the worst movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, one of the worst. I just think even some of the other ones, at least even if they're just bad jokes and bad CGI, at least they kind of look neat. This looks like a complete made-for-TV movie. The CGI is horrible. The action scenes are terrible. It does have a good cast. Ed Norton tries to make the best of, you know, the material. Tim Roth is here in a really cool role. But I mean, to me, this movie is just boring. I love the idea of going psychological with Bruce Banner, but I want it to lead somewhere. I want it to, uh, you know, I want it something to happen. And even though Marvel is known for dropping entire character motivations and styles between movies, um, you know, and characters being much different all of a sudden um, in, in, in the next movie, it's such a huge departure from the way Bruce Banner is portrayed here as he is in the later movies when Mark Ruffalo takes over. This movie just feels really out of place. Like it's kind of like the stepchild of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And ultimately, I mean, I just, I just, I hate it. I think it's just so boring, so drawn out. It wants to be overly serious, but then it tries to break that up with the, with action, with ineffective action sequences. I just, I didn't care for it at all. I just, I didn't like it. <laughs> I just, I hate this movie. I think it's really, really bad. So that's my review of The Incredible Hulk. Um, Obviously, based on what I've read online, uh, people disagree with me, and they find it to be this insightful, action-packed movie. I just didn't like it. I mean, I don't... Like I said, I love the idea of a deep psychological dive on Bruce Banner, but I want something to happen with that. I don't just want boring exposition and lame action scenes. I want it all to tie together and give me an interesting story, you know, and I just don't think that movie does that. So if you want to read my full write-up of The Incredible Hulk, you can do that at markfusion.com. You can also check out some uh, bunch of other Marvel Cinematic Universe reviews there, as well as tons of other cult, exploitation, horror, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at MarkFusion. If you want to see what's coming here soon, you can go to uh, uh, Letterboxd and follow me there and get an idea of what I've been watching, what might be coming here. Best way to support me, though, is just to hit that sub button. It's a free, easy, direct way to support me, help me keep making these videos and talking to you guys about him. Even if you hate me and hate my opinion on the movie, if you're watching the reviews, I would appreciate you uh, just dropping a sub. You can also watch the old videos. That helps me out immensely as well. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you can visit my website, use my Amazon links, and I'll use that money to buy even more movies to talk to you guys about. So thank you very much for watching this video. I know a lot of you are really sensitive about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but, uh, you know, I just... 
some of the some of them are really bad this one to me is probably i would probably put it as the worst just because it's so boring and i didn't i can't really find anything redeeming about it even just cheesy entertainment wise so if you want to send me hate mail that's okay but uh that's my that's my take on the incredible hulk thank you for watching this video guys i do greatly appreciate it hopefully i'll see you guys soon